What a Wonderful World, Louis Armstrong. Classic song, been done by many, many people, and I hope you like my version. It's really quite easy to play. Um, it's in standard tuning with no capo, um, and it's all open chords. Um, I'm playing one uh, bar chord, which is a G, but you don't have to play that. You can play that as an open G if you want to. So, okay, let's get straight into it. The strum pattern for this, it's really best to count it as a six. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, you probably noticed in the song I was picking it, and I'll go into the picking pattern um, towards the end of the tutorial. But for now, to learn the um, the chord progression, we'll, we'll just do it uh, as a strum pattern. So it starts in C, um, and as an intro, you do C, G, C, G. So it's C, C, G, F, C, D minor, E minor, E7, a minor, F, 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 G, what a wonderful C. Okay, we'll go through that again. So the intro would be C, G, C, G. I see trees of G, F, roses C, D minor. To a minor and I F to myself. G, what a wonderful world. F, G. Now, when you get to the colors of the rainbow, which is the second verse, it starts in C, uh, sorry, it starts in G. The colors of the rainbow, so G up in the sky. RG on the faces of the sea, people passing by. Now you go to A minor. I see friends holding E minor to saying how I E minor. This is A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor. Friends shaking hands. A minor to E minor to A minor to E minor. To D minor, A minor, G, and that's the last B 
bit you have to think about D minor A minor G and you notice there's pretty much just a stroke on 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 each one of those I'll just go through that a bit again from the A minor E minor so starting A minor I see friends holding hands A minor to E minor to A minor to E minor to D minor A minor G and then you're back to the beginning for the next verse um, I see here babies cry F I watch them see D minor to E minor to E7 to A minor and I say to my that's an F to a G what a wonderful oh yeah Okay, so that's it. That's the chord progression and the, the, the timing and the beat for that. Now, I was picking this um, and it's just the way I like to pick it, the way I like to play it. But you notice the beat is a waltz, so we're looking at a, a six beat. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, that picking pattern um, if you think about it when you're playing a D just for a minute a D chord it is um, four two three one three two four two three one three two four two three one three two now you must follow the bass so the very first beat of that if you're playing a D it is actually the D string the um, which is the one so it's one two three four three two but if you change to a C the the bass note becomes the fifth string so this would be five two three one three two and if you are playing a G chord the bass would be the sixth string so it's six two three one three two okay and that's pretty much it so you're starting with the C so you'd be starting on a 5 and then you're going to a G so the first beat would be the 6th string so it would be I see trees of green F is 5 red roses too that's C D minor would be the D string the 4th string I see the blue the E minor I'm using the fifth string and E7 for me and you and A minor is also the fifth string as well so it's really just a picking pattern that you have to get used to um, think about it as just the bottom four strings while you're learning the pattern and that's four two three one three two four two three one three two four two three one three two I think that's right <laughs> okay that's it um, that's the whole song it's a great song really like it absolute classic and I hope this is uh, tutorials helped you to learn to play it so keep watching looking listening and most of all keep practicing I'll see you guys next time bye now